Adamick doubling up the left hand. Jab, then left hook. Adamick increasingly wary of Briggs' right hand. Not throwing nearly as freely as he did early on. Briggs was a little contradictory when discussing Adamick's punching power last year. He said, I don't think he can hit hard, but I'll say this. He hit harder in the 12th round than he did in any other time all night. Paul, he didn't capitalize on that round. He got the round off his mate. Paul, you've got to keep the pressure on him, mate. You'll find him round and throwing no punches. That's your rest round, mate. That's your rest round. Paul, he is absolutely Paul. He, mate, he is out on his feet. He is out on his feet. Mate, he, if you get in there close, smash his guts in and then come over the top That's like we do, deep mate. Deep Paul, I'm not telling you a lie, mate. Yes, He's mate. there for the taking. But you've got to work. He's not going to give it to you. Paul. Okay. Stay relaxed, baby. Listen, you got to be smart, Tomas. That was a better round. Keep him in front of you, okay? Keep that head moving and the head down in the double jab. When he gets close, work the body, okay? Go, Curtis. Go, Curtis. I think halfway through this fight, we're looking at a rubber match. Round seven begins and a pitched battle between these two light heavyweights. Harold Ludeman, how do you have it so far? Okay, Jim, 58, 55, four rounds to two, Paul Briggs. Jim, I gotta tell you something. He's, he's getting off first. A lot of the times he's become the effective aggressor and he's won three rounds in a row. I find the problem with Thomas Adamek is he's too straight up. He's getting nailed by right hands. Four to two, Briggs. Interestingly, Johnny Lewis told Paul Briggs after the last round, well, you lost that round, you gave Adamek a round, that was your rest round, but that doesn't necessarily mean the judges saw it that way, as Harold points out. Adamek is fighting back very good, but, it, you know, this, the styles will always make these guys have great fights, as you were saying, Larry. They could fight four fights and it would be great fights still. Both guys throw short, accurate punches at him. Neither one of my loopers. Adamek, it appears, is also bleeding from the mouth, spitting blood. <laughs> Neither fighter is going to wilt because of a little blood. Not the kind of guys they are. Well, the first fight, Adamek came into the fight with a broken nose, and Griggs had a badly cut left eye, so they both know pain. And they didn't alter either one of them's performance. Oh, they fight. fought like devils for the whole distance, despite their physical difficulties. Just as they are doing tonight. Hard right hand by Briggs, two good body shots by Adamek. Intense fight. Those punches look better than they were, but they might have fooled the judges. Another reaching right hand by Briggs, and Adamek scores a combination in return. Adamek is out working in this round right here. He is indeed, but if the judges score the blood, they see it trickling down Adamek's face from both nostrils. And whether it's because he's not settled down on his punches, as was the case then, or because he's tired. Adamek's punches have nowhere near the snap they had in rounds two and three when he was moving Briggs and hurting Briggs, particularly with left hands. A real power since that time has belonged to Briggs. Yeah. Hard right hand by Briggs after several shots by Adamek. Yeah, it's been a good round for Adamek simply because he's at Woodbridge. But Adamek has gone to the body in this round more than he has before. And those combinations in the last 10 seconds would seem to have been enough to seal the deal for Thomas Adamek, tightening up the fight. Hey. I think you tell him to keep going to that body when he gets Watch your punches. That one was a little low, all right? Okay. Bebeki, Tomek. Tell him to keep going to the body. Bebeki, please. Keep him in front of you like that, nice and smart. When he gets close, rip that body. Okay, here you go. Drink this, champ. Move. Okay. 
Asking you. Paul, you, you didn't in front, you hit me, and then you just dropped it off. I want you to be non stop this round. Yeah. Hard underneath, Paul. Yes, sir. When you come underneath, mate. Yeah, that's fine, mate. Come on, baby. This is a typical pattern of the fight with Adam Mac actually outlanding in terms of punches and Briggs coming back with the power punches. Only this past round seemed like Briggs didn't throw enough power punches back, so Adam Mac probably won that round. Statistically, Adam Mac had one of his better rounds, throwing 87 punches, his high output of the fight, and the 15 to 11 edge in power connect. So, Thomas Adam Mac perhaps won the last round, tightening up the scorecards in the fight. And incidentally, Harold Letterman scored the first round 10-8. I still think it's possible that one or more judges scored at 10-9. We shall see. It should be very interesting because outside of that one left hook that Briggs landed, he didn't land anything else the rest of the round. No, and Adam Before or after. the round. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, but that's just one point in a fight that seems as though it may stretch 12 rounds again, as did last year's battle. Uh, I want to uh, announce, uh, because it is unusual, that I agree with Harold. I know. You said so <laughs> earlier, actually. You said that you believe that uh, it should be a 10-8 round. I'm just saying I'm not sure that all three judges will see it that way. And that's one thing we should keep in mind. They trade against the ropes, and Briggs gets hurt. Adam X lands a big shot. Paul Briggs trying to cover up. The crowd comes to life. Another good combination for Adamek. Briggs is trying to bail himself out with the right hand again. Adamek blasts him into the ropes. Adamek has actually outworked him the last two rounds. He's out fighting him in every way. And his vibrancy starts to come back. Now once again, Briggs sticks the right hand in there. And again, and again. So three straight right hands by Briggs. But Adamek lands a left and a right. Briggs jumping and firing trying to reassert himself with aggression. Good fight. Even though Briggs has lost this round for the most part, I believe, but it's still early enough for him to come back with some good, clean right hands and possibly rip this round out also. Not over yet. Still nearly a minute to go. Both men have landed some big shots in the round. Adamek had Briggs going for a moment. Good left hook inside to the body by Adam. Thudding shot. Briggs Gets is, his left through the guard. Briggs right hand off. up top. Good left hook by Adam. Briggs comes back with a right hand. And again. Booming right hands by Paul Briggs. Usually bail him out when Adam gets him in trouble. But at this stage, Adam Mack is taking control. He's actually outworking him. It's who throws the most punches is who's winning these rounds for the most part. Exactly Briggs, the pattern Briggs. of the first fight right now. Adam Mack outworking Briggs, landing combinations. Briggs occasionally halting him with right hands. Again, same stuff. But Adam Mack is still outpunching him. Big round for Adam Mack as he seals the deal again in the closing seconds of the round and takes a right hand. But he's and still outpunching him. What a round. Adamek came back from a first round knockdown. Briggs came back on him. And now Adamek has come, come back on Briggs. Ziggy, give him some These water. are thoroughbreds. Paul, mate, we've got to do that all the time now. Mate, they don't give us this fight unless we fight for it. We can't stand there letting him drop his jab, jab, jab. Paul, we heard him again near the end. Yep. Mate, back yourself, son. Back yourself. Make him miss and then jump on him. Mate, just be smart. Did he hurt you over there at all? He hurt you? He hurt you? In front of you, Jeff, like that. Okay, be smart. Water. Give me that. Give me the water. Okay? Keep him in front of you. Keep him in front of you. Don't get in the slugfest. Straighten the right hand out. You're going too wide. Okay? Right here, you had to make land the right hand. It was a very good right hand because I don't think that Briggs even expected it. He just came in punching. But it was enough, I think, probably to get enough attention, which he may have won the round off of that. Adamak threw 106 punches in that round, landing 32. Briggs landed 26 out of 71. And you can see that on Harold Letterman's card, Adamak has crawled back to within one point again. If the first round was scored 10-9 instead of 10-8, that would make it an even fight on those cards.